So these days we're always trying to get more done in less time and always running out of time. I hate that feeling. You start on a list of things for a particular period of time and you get through the first one or two and you realize, oh no, the, most of the time is already gone. What am I gonna do? How am I gonna get the rest of my list done? And that's where this shortcut can really save your life or at least like save your time management your life's probably more important than what's on your to-do list but my name is eric wielander and welcome to windy tech a channel all about apps gear and automation in the apple ecosystem first i'm going to show you this shortcut in action so if i go over here to calendar blocks and i hit run i'll get a text box that pops up and let's say i have a few different things i want to get done in the afternoon maybe it's a clean bathroom okay so I have my three things I wanna get done in the afternoon. I hit done, and then I, it asked me when do I wanna start it. Let's say tomorrow at 12 noon, maybe one o'clock. Then I hit done. Then I choose the end time for this. So let's say we need to be done with all of this stuff by uh, 3.30. So I'm gonna go ahead and select 3.30, hit okay. And how long do I want my breaks to be if then it's figured out that we have to work in 50 minute chunks to get everything done. Let's say I want 10 minute breaks, so I hit OK. It makes it and then boom, there are my different events all planned out in the afternoon. If you notice the last one, editing video, it finishes at 3.30 so it fits within that block of time and it's left me gaps in the calendar where I can take a break in between each event. So personally, I find this really helpful even if I don't exactly follow this schedule even if as the computer has scheduled i don't start doing laundry at 1 53 pm it just helps me know oh i should really be getting to the laundry if it's already two o'clock and i was supposed to start at seven minutes ago to stay on schedule so how does this work behind the scenes we start with the list of events of course and then from there we just get the uh, number of items we're dealing with to make some of these calculations then we ask uh, for the input of a start date and an end date so we know what kind of a time frame we're working with for this list and we calculate then based on the number of items that we uh, counted earlier, we divide that block of time up into time blocks in minutes. Then we figure out based on that, ask the user, how long do you want your breaks to be? So then the user enters a value for the length of time for breaks. If they enter a time for breaks that's greater than the time block, then I just have a little error handling here to show them, hey, you messed up, the, the break time is longer than your time for work, uh, you got bigger problems. So then here we calculate the work time. Now we start off by calculating the remaining break time or remaining time that we need to add to the other blocks of work because we will have one less break than blocks of work if we want to finish our last block of work at the at the end of our time frame. So we just get the remaining break time that we can then spread across each other block of work so then we start back with our time block uh, subtract our break time add in that extra break time from the break that we're not actually taking and then um, you have your work time so then after that we have our start date and end date and we just sort of iterate through each item in the list creating a new event and then adding on uh, the number of minutes for both the work time and then the following break time before then we start the next event so it adds all of that to the calendar uh, and then um, if you know notice here I made a note in the notes saying made with calendar blocks shortcut and that becomes very handy in a little bit so then I just wanna show the calendar so I can see those blocks of time that shortcuts just laid out for me. One of the things I found with this is sometimes you can mess up. You can put in the wrong start date or end date or you can say your breaks are too long or, and that's where having the notes field indicate that this is made with this shortcut allows you to go back and delete all events made with this shortcut within a particular time range. So I also made another shortcut called clear calendar block and that basically just asks for a specific date and another date and then it goes and finds all events with that in the notes of the calendar event and then deletes it. So I hit the run button and then I choose that I want to clear out the, between today and then tomorrow and I hit done. It says do you want to remove those three events? I hit remove and voila. 
if we go back to our calendar, the events are removed. So the last thing you might have noticed is that this is a share sheet extension. And this way, if I'm somewhere else uh, in iOS, maybe I'm in an app, an app like Drafts or I'm in Safari copying a list of things and uh, then I wanna create these events on the fly, I can totally do that. But there's plenty of other times where I just want to enter a list that's off the top of my head and then start scheduling. So for doing that, I can go over here to the enter calendar block shortcut. And this, this one was very easy to set up. All we did was we dragged out a text uh, item and then we ask for that text when the shortcut runs. And then we just send that text to the make calendar blocks shortcut. So, and that allows you to just enter it from say the today widget. So if I go over here to my today widget, I can go ahead and enter calendar block uh, input here. Now I have found a little bit of an issue with some of the date math, especially when you span midnight. So this this shortcut really isn't designed well if you're trying to make a bunch of blocks that span multiple days or nights. Uh, it's really intended to be for minutes. Uh, that said, you can totally you can take the shortcut from the iCloud link down below and modify it, I'm sure to do day calculations or whatever else you need. Um, probably with some trial and error and that's where that delete event shortcut that's also linked below can save your bacon by just being able to delete all those. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or ideas of cool ways you're gonna like adapt this shortcut to how you work. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you're excited to try out this shortcut to manage your own time and take charge of your calendar schedule, subscribe to this channel for more about apps, gear, and automation in the Apple ecosystem. Thanks again so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.